Hey, what's up guys, it's Roy here. So got the Spigen core armor case here for my Samsung Galaxy S24. Uh, this one, I couldn't find on Amazon. They might make it a Spigen website only exclusive, but if I do come across it, I'll be sure to link it down in the description. But Spigen was kind enough to send this out for review. I really enjoyed this case for the iPhone 15 Pro and my Google Pixel 8. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna enjoy it for my S24, but uh, let's get this bad boy out. But as you can see by the picture, there it is, drop tested to military standard, made for the Samsung Galaxy. And then uh, just a little bit of information on the back, talking about the spider web pattern, and then the air cushion technology, which I'll show you uh, up close and personal here just in a sec. But let's get it out. So here is the case, and uh, yeah, looks just like the other ones. Uh, so uh, we'll focus on the inside. So as it uh, said on the back, that you know, very recognizable spider web pattern, which looks fantastic. Uh, does say the whole Spigen Inc. in Irvine, California, but made in South Korea. Does have the um, wording there for the air cushion technology, which as I've explained in my videos, are the little tiny airbags in the corners that are gonna help dissipate the energy away from the phone in the event of a break. So hence the name air cushion, it kind of acts like little air cushions or an airbag for your phone. And then, uh, yeah, so that's the interior. So let's grab the S24, start with the button side here, push in, and that's all she wrote. So let me get the uh, little cleaning tool here and let's clean this up. Kind of getting some little fuzzies in there, which that is kind of maybe one of the drawbacks with this case is since there are these like really nice ridges, um, it has this great little pattern on the back, but little fuzz and lint and dust and stuff can get in those uh, if you're wearing jeans or something like that. So just something to think about, not a fingerprint magnet, um, with this type of matted finish material, smudging could potentially be a problem depending on how oily your hands are, um, but nothing that a quick wipe down with your shirt or a towel or something that you know won't cure. Um, but very nice texture and material, very simple Spigen branding there at the bottom. And then we do have a full cutout, uh, a pill-shaped cutout, if you will, with kind of a little extension there for the flash which I do prefer the individual cutouts, but it's okay, it looks fine. Uh, nicely recessed in there, so no issues at all with the cameras there, so looking pretty good. Now let's talk about the sides here. So the sides have this really nice texture. I really, really actually like the texture. That's one thing that I loved about the 15 Pro and the 8, uh, Google Pixel 8, excuse me, sides, is it just really felt good in the hand. Doesn't add a lot of bulk, but just this nice kind of a uh, granular texture feels great. Uh, single big button there for the volume up and down, single button here for the uh, power button outlined with some higher gloss black as you can see there. And they are nicely raised, so not too bad at all there. And then we go down to the bottom rounded corners and we do have a nice cutout for the USB-C charging port and the speakers here. And then flipping over to this side, just a big giant piece of that grippy material once again. And then looking at it from the top down view, just two little fang bites there uh, as far as uh, the uh, microphone cutouts there. And then if we look at it from this angle here, you can see the nice raised lips uh, around the screen. So we're getting good screen protection if we do put it face down. And then looking at it from the top down view here, I do have a tempered glass screen protector on and it is perfectly fine, not pushing up against it or messing anything up. So now let's go ahead and do my wobble test that I like to do on my channel here. So let's start with the face down and there's no issues at all. Now if we go back down here, a little bit of some shaking. Once again, is it a super shaky wobbly mess like an iPhone? Absolutely not. But you can see with the reflection there is a little bit of wobble, so I think it passes, but that's up to you depending on how wobbly or not wobbly you like your cases. Uh, so next, let's do the clicky button test. So let's do that power button first. Oh yeah, very responsive. And then let's do the volume up and down button. Oh yeah, guys, so passes. 
with flying colors. The clicky button test, very tactile, very responsive, has a nice sound, big thumbs up there. So then last but not least, with this rugged case, how does it do with wireless charging? So let me grab that. So got this here, let's slap it on. And as you can see, obviously it does just fine with it. So no issues at all with wireless charging, uh, anything with Samsung Pay or Google Pay, any reverse power sharing that you can do to charge up some earbuds or in a pinch your buddy's phone or something like that. But guys, I really like this case. Like, like I said, it's very slim. It's nothing too crazy. Uh, I like that it is very much mimicking the very flat sides like the S24 and the S24 Plus have. Uh, so I do like that, but it is a little bit more rounded at the bottom here. So it's not gonna be like super, super sharp in your hand, but just feels good. I just like the texture. I like the feel of this case uh, all around. I think it does a really, really good job. Uh, so yeah, so like I said, guys, core armor, really nice case. So hit that like button if you liked the video. If you loved it, please subscribe. Ring the notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe, God bless. We'll see you on the next one.